G'day guys, another end to another long day. Um, Brendo's done a lot of plastering today. So I've got a uh, new, ba uh, new trailer full of uh, plaster sand, some lime, which apparently um, when you put it with the um, plaster, uh, it makes it easier to work. I don't know if it sets it off any quicker. If you're a plaster, let me know. Um, so yeah, he's, so he's good to go crack tomorrow. So I think Benny's gonna be a bit late dropping off his sister. Um, Pete, the electrician came, so that was great. Um, so I ended up chopping the, uh, the wall switches in for the walls and put the box up through there uh, and then got the wire coming out for the, for the light there um, that's going to hang down the pendant light. Um, same with the other side over here. Um, the reason why I've made this plastic just to knock the loose stuff off but that's my water pipe just there so that had to go behind. This is a hot main going behind the, the cold so that's the only way I could do it. And so if you've got a plumber who's working in a bathroom like with a you know the wall on the other side and, and the stuff comes off it's not his fault he's not being careless it's just it's happened sometime this one here i did a bit of a investigation because i knew there was a power point there and uh, so i had to find where that um conduit was so i'm not hitting anything and because it was there that means i could just chase that up so that would be the switch switch in the second pendant light um not much has happened here in the bathroom it's, um just pete's done his wiring and stuff like that which is which is cool um, it's great that we've got the um, ceiling down. We can do all this because I've got that blowing insulation. The manhole's on the far side. There's spider webs and everything. It's shocking. Gets dusty every time you move, and that stuff sticks to you. So it's really good for me being a plumber. I can, you know, do all the water and everything from down here. Same with Pete. You can see he's done all the switches and lights and stuff. Imagine if you had to do all that, you know, crawling over these big uh, air conducts and stuff like that. It was not the not going to be the easiest room, especially when it gets really hot. So anyway, so all, all the junction boxes are all done. So he can do it all down downstairs. Um, that's the same this morning, he already cranked out. It's getting nice and dry now. Um, you see that he's finished this whole wall off here. So that looks looks brilliant. It just makes the room so much bigger, you know? So it looks, it's gonna be great. Um, got the little switch in the wall. So this will be a little switch here next to the bed. And then there'll be a little light, some sort of light wall light coming off there. So a bit of a reading light at night. And then you've got a little power point down there to change phones or something like that. So. That'd be super cool. Got the you know, doorway cut out, but that's pretty good. But chum, check this out, eh? He's, he's done a really cool job. Look at this. So that's the whole bathroom, all plastered, ready to ready to go for the Tyler. I've um, cleaned it all out and vacuumed it a bit so Tyler can put his screed in um, whenever he wants to start now. So that's all all good. So, and uh, he, yeah, as we, were, as we were going along, uh, we couldn't see this power point because Brendo had plastered over, he forgot that it was there. And so it was lucky I could go on the other side of the wall and because it was still wet, I poked this little stick through the bottom and I just punched a little hole so he knew where it was and then he uncovered the, yeah, the power point. It's gonna go uh, for the uh, yeah for the cupboard anyway. Anyway, moving along nicely. So tomorrow morning, um, Brendo's coming early. He's gonna do the white set on that wall here. So do all this and also in the passageway, he'll, he'll make that all white. And then by the time uh, Benny comes, he will um, start mixing the mud and then they'll concentrate and just, you know, getting all the, all the walls done here for the, for the bathroom by the window. That all doesn't have to be done. Well, he has to patch it a bit. But, and then he can get that sorted. So that's going to be another big day. And once he's sorted that, I think he's going to put the door frame in. See, man of many talents. He's going to do that in, that in that far room and then he can start plastering the outside of the wall. But once the, um, once the plastering's done, then we're set for on... Um, yeah, at the end of the week, uh, Dylan or Tyler's coming. So yeah, sort of seem, seems to be on track, which is great. Hey guys, how you going? Um, yeah, Brendan and Benny, Benny's just gone gone nuts with the um, plastering today. So um, they got the, you know, the white stuff on the wall. So they finished all that. I'll show you that in a minute. And they also got the uh, float all, all the way around in uh, both of the bathrooms now. So we're more or less ready for the Tyler's um, to come on Friday now, which is which is the main thing, which is, which is great. So. Again, very grateful to Brendo. His, this scope of work's massive. Says, I don't know another guy who could do all this stuff, just the one guy, you know, to knocking out walls, to cutting walls, to removing concrete, putting concrete back in, plastering, brick laying, you know. He's gonna make a door frame tomorrow out of just, you know, a piece of wood, he's gonna make a door frame up. Um, so yeah, fix the roof up, because you know, there's a couple of, um, well, a couple of um, beams that have to be supported by the wall, so he's going to sort all that out. So, man of many talents, so amazing guy. So anyway, here are my um, my tile, you know, the, like the floor waste um, flaps. Th these have a built-in puddle flange, which is super important um, on on those. This is one that Emirate Parkwood 
said to do. G'day, Emma, if you're watching. So the tile just sits in this. They have a little little square tile, and then the water just trickles past it. You know, so it looks looks really good. So I got 100 mil one for the big bathroom and 80 mil for the smaller. So anyway, I'll take you inside now and show you um, both bathrooms that are done and finished, and also the white stuff on the wall just makes it look so much brighter now. So I'll show you the uh, the little bathroom first. So that's the uh, the white has just been finished. So that's gonna you know dry off. And then I think they put a top coat on it or something like that. So, yeah, anyway. And the other side, this, this is all, all done. So that's just going to, see, that's all going to dry out nicely as well. Okay, so it's all, all ready. And then here's the other bathroom. I showed you the other day. Anyway, so that's all, all finished. I've cleaned out the floor and everything. So he's ready to go. I may have to, that might be a bit too close to the wall. So I might have to put a couple of 45s or something to sort that out for him. But other than that, it's, uh, it's going well. I'll show you the other bathroom now. It looks... Looks pretty amazing. So come around here. I set the light up in the roof for him. See, looking after him. It's a little up. So you see, it's all been done. You know, with that's the toilet. That's, they've left that out for me because I'm still not sure, 100% sure where that the height of the floor is going to end up. So once the the tile Dylan tells me what height, then I can put that in there because it's it's got to be pretty pretty exact. You know, within 10 mil or something. So you see, that's where the you know shower's going. And eventually, I've got to put the rain head shower coming out of the roof ceiling somewhere. So We'll sort that out. Um, towel rails and all that stuff. So she's all she's all ready to go. So that's the main thing. Might just give it a bit of a sweep up when it dries uh, tomorrow, and then at least the tile can get stuck into it and um, and go. So I'm oh, no, just checking the, the power point up here, and there's meant to be another one of these somewhere. There's another hole, but I'm not sure where that is. Anyway, we'll we'll find it. It's got to got to be there somewhere. Always gets plastered over sometimes, but. When it dries, I'll just give it a little knock. Anyway, guys, that's about all. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not doing much here tomorrow, so I'll probably be back at back at work, which would be good. Earn some money to pay for this. And then, uh, yeah, I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching, and uh, keep Australia beautiful. Catch ya.